scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a regular on the European kickboxing circuit. His professional record, 35 wins, five losses, one draw. 15 of those wins coming by knockout. At 1.92 meters, six feet, three and a half inches, he weighed in at fight time at 93.7 kilos, 207 pounds. Representing Cape Verde, please welcome Luis, the infamous Tavares. His opponent opposite the ring and standing in the red corner, a three-time IFMA gold medalist, four-time European champion. His record, eight wins with four losses. At 1.86 meters, he stands six feet, one inches tall. He weighed in at 92.6 kilos, 204 pounds. Representing Russia, please welcome Artem. Once again, your referee is Mufanel El Ghazawi. All right, that's... Listen, guys, it's glory rules. No elbow, no hardbutt, no lip clinching, no hobby. Okay? Second, good luck. Go back. Judge, judge, judge. Time. Ready? Fight! Three three-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Vahitov and Tavares. Underway here in New York City, and what a combination by Tavares. They're going right after it. Oh, that Tavares left kick almost landed. Bontop follows up. Oh, spinning back fist oh, floors oh. Tavares. That was right on the money. It was right on the wrist that uh, Ar Artem landed it. And down went Tavares, and they were going after each other at that moment. Bontop with the highlight real knockdown. No feeling out period for these two. Bahatov throwing really crisp punches, one of them being slipped though by Tavares. High kick there by Bahatov, countered by Tavares. Low kick from Bahatov. Looks like Tavares shipped off that knockdown. Oh, a body blow now knocks him down. That doesn't look good. You know what? His body language is saying he's not going to continue. That was such a beautiful shot. This fight is over. Artem Vahitov with the crushing body blow floors Luis Tavares. Amazing. Vahitov made such a statement here tonight with his hands. Went to the karate school first with a spinning back fist and then all the way boxing to that left hook to the body. Amazing. Incredible performance by Vahitov. And Luis Tavares is a solid fighter, Steven. So what Vahitov just accomplished. It's incredible. That's a big win because Tavares, he's got a great camp. It's Hammer's Gym. He's got Jamal Ben Sadiq, Robin Van Roosmaal, and all those guys to spar with. He's got plenty of preparations. But this guy came in here with an 8 4 record. But you got to look at that amateur record. 100, you know, 100 fights, 95 wins as an amateur. He's had a lot of practice. He top the highlight reel begins. And he started with a body shot, then he spun right into the left spinning back fist beautifully. Probably done that a million times in the bag. And here we go. Listen, that is such a good shot. Cut him across the face, going down. Beautiful spinning back fist. And wh what's key there is you have to hit with the back of the mitt, and he did. And look at this, he slipped inside that right hand and crushed it with a liver punch. Such perfection. It was just beautiful. Look at this slip. He dips right and boom, and he takes a little bit of that right hand, but he says, my left foot is going to hurt you more than your punch. Look at his corner go crazy. They knew as soon as he landed that shot to the liver, this was it, and Tavares was not getting up one minute and six seconds into round number one. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at one minute, six seconds of the very first round. This one ruled a knockout for your win. All right, gentlemen, the instructions in the dressing room. A nice, clean fight. I'll be on my commands at all times. Case for knockdown, go to the neutral corner. I tell you to go to remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. Oof. Referee for this headliner is Chris Wagner. Three three-minute round.
Bruce on to Vakatov. Started coming out as a five year old. Back up, back up, back up, back up. He found himself close to the Kuzpas Muay Thai school. Then on Pagonis. Will be his opponent in his glory debut. Fight! The bell in round one. Or Ornello along with the Duke Rufus, Ron Kruk, and our entire Glory crew here at the theater at Madison Square Garden. This edition of the Glory Super Fight Series has produced plenty of memorable knockouts. Let's see what Vakatov and Pagonis can Stop. deliver here. Break, step back clean. In the headline attraction, Fight. immediately they go to the clinch. Wagner breaks them up. Beautiful lead right hand behind the guard by Pagonis. Follows that up with a head kick that was blocked by Vakatov. But Duke, as you have mentioned before, just because you block it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. No, I mean, shin versus arm. The shin's always going to beat the forearm. It's a bigger muscle group and it's a bigger piece of meat. Good start by Pagonis, but there was a counter outside low kick by Vakatov. That left kick just missed, and Pagonis almost telegraphed it. Spectacular technique. Of course, prioritized criteria. It's all about the number of knockdowns, all about the millions of damage. Spectacular techniques do have a, an edge over normal techniques. That's why you'll see them pulling out of the stops, especially in glory where it really go, is go, 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 go. Stop. a 100 meter dash instead of the, uh, the New York Marathon. Definitely. Speaking of that, I think that Archer needs to pick up his pace. He's got good veins, good style. Oh, spinning better just missed, but uh, he's uh, being too observant right now. For Pagonis, he's, he's on the Greek offensive charge like a Spartan. Just past the midway point of the opening round. Fight! Push kick by Pagonis. Outside low kick. Using his footwork, there's a lead right hand behind the guard by Pagonis. Really flew up very crisp here in the early going. No butterflies whatsoever in his glory debut thus far as back atop. Now comes back with a combination of his own. Right hand to the body before he clinch it. Stop! Yeah, he's going to the body real nice. I'd like to see him go upstairs off there. But uh, Pagonis is doing a good job himself. Nice low kicks on the, the young kid down. Stop! Says that Iron Mike Tyson. Fight! He's idle, tries to emulate him in the ring. Also embodies elements of his camps. Style, and particularly those killer body shots. We've seen some evidence of that, Stop. but uh, really so far, Pagonis with the edge here with 30 seconds left in the opening round. Would you concur? Yes. What you got to do if you want to start making body shots, go upstairs first. You got to get those hands to go high, keep them busy, then dig for oil below the, the car. Push kick with the team as it's known in Muay Thai. Beautiful kick combination there for back and top coming forward, finishing off with a knee and then the clinch will have a chance to knee. Final few seconds of an opening round that has seen uh, Nenad Pagonis display his skills. Stick around, the Glory Super Fight Series rolls on in just a moment. Fight! The bell in round two scheduled for three three-minute rounds. The Glory Super Fight Series headline Time. attraction here right in there. New York City. Light heavyweight action as you know ready, Pagonis right? will have up to five turn around, turn around. minutes to recover from the no blow. It was accidental. Just keep it up, right? Pagonis in the, the white gloves. His opponent Artem Vakatov sporting the black. You ready to go? Let's go. Time it. Fight. After a short respite, action resumes. We touch gloves as a sign of sportsmanship. Vakatov launches the left kick that was blocked. Body kick by Pagonis. The push kick by Pagonis. Wanting to get away from the ropes. Now Vakatov swarms him. Stop! Right, step back clean. Fight! Exchange low kicks. Vakatov inside, Pagonis outside. Vakatov has really good defense, but he's not reacting. See how he, he did it? There you go. The, the nice hook back. He, he has good guard, good head movement, but he's not reacting when he gets hit at. And there he made a miss. He's got to make him pay. Great, new step rules in glory. Glory. They've added two seconds Fight. to the active clinch. Now allowed up to five seconds. Beautiful combination. Finished off with that outside low kick by Pagonis. Who's really found his, his rhythm and his form here in his first glory appearance. But Vakatov again, very dangerous along the ropes. 
Stop. 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 I don't, I don't know why McIntyre is trying to clinch. He throws a great combo, and then he lets Pagonis recover. He should just keep the punches going. Low kick, slide back Stop. a little, Break. make some room, and keep punching. Step back. Pagonis is doing a good job of clinching. McIntyre does oh. it. Front kick by Pagonis. Lands beautifully. Making advantage of that height and reach edge, but left hook to the liver by McIntyre. Counter left hook upstairs by Pagonis. Left kick blocked by Vakatov. There's a body kick by Pagonis. He gets tagged on the jaw with that right hand from Vakatov. He's walking down. Pagonis now having him along the ropes. Stop. Great. Step back. Clean. Pagonis is doing a great Fight job of using his height. You know, it's his, his, his reach. The, the taller guy, when he's out there, he, it's easier to use the, the extra space as well. He has more leverage to get punch on the inside Stop. as well. Break. Under Stop. a minute remaining in the second stanza. They got Rick Pagonis. Spinning heel kick misses on top of Vakatov. And backing him down, but there's a jump knee by Pagonis to the midsection and a push kick. Pushes Vakatov back and lands a left hook to the head. There's a left kick to the head block, but the right push kick connects. It's all Pagonis in terms of the offensive activity. Vakatov walking him down, but as you mentioned, do not throwing it up. Stop, Rick, step back. I just don't think he needs to clinch. Do a great right hand, come back to the left hook. There, the beautiful right hand. And a left hook, and now Vakatov beginning to work the body more. Stop, Greg, step back. And mining some gold for his efforts. Final 10 seconds of what has been an entertaining second round between Russia's Vakatov and Serbia's Pagonis. Fight! So the third and final round is underway. Pagonis with the spinning back fist blocked by Artem Bakatov. He was able to block that left knee as well. Inside low kick by Pagonis. Really doing a good job of utilizing all of his weapons and being unpredictable. I like it because he's thinking two, three moves ahead. He threw a right hand, he used the right hand on the left side of Artem's head, but then he came back on the right side of his head or up the face with the knee. He's dispersing his strikes all over the place, leading with a front kick. Very good variety of strikes. No sense of urgency, no real aggression on the part of Artem Bakatov, who, your comments, I would uh, think, oh, beautiful, left like, hook dips away at the liver there, but uh, something tells me you have Pagonis up two rounds to undo. Yes, I do. And look at this guy. 32% of the right there it is. Yep, exactly. One way traffic, right? Sometimes young fighters like Artem, he spars so much and he's so comfortable in the gym, you get in a bad habit of admiring the work too much. Do too many rounds in the gym. Sometimes you're better off sparring three rounds and sprinting instead of going for a jog. He's jogging today. Break, step back. Vakatov is a classically trained pianist, could play at a professional standard. So far, not able to find his rhythm or hit the right notes in, in this bout, as he gets countered with a Break. crisp step right back. Stop hand holding, from guys. Stop holding, stop holding, those are holding. One minute no left Let's go. in this fight. Why is she jogging? Attack there by Pagonis with the knee. Right hand counter to the body. Stop. Vakatabo again goes to the clinch and fight. just nullifies any momentum or any shot to try to get back into this fight. No, he's doing a great job. But why is he great? Because he's Greek. Of course, my grandfather's from Greece. And uh, he's showing his Greek fighting spirit tonight. He's too bad he's Serbian, though. Yeah, but a Greek heritage. I think it's just because of the name. That's why the Stop. nickname Greek is called Greek. Fight! I'm gonna go champ. <laughs> champ and the push kick inside. Low kick by Pagodas. There's a switch kick there by Vakatov. Maybe too little too late as we are in the home stretch. The finish line is in view for Nena Greek Pagodas, who has looked terrific in his glory debut as we are headed to the judges' scorecards. Ah. The fight. 
I scored for it. Look at this knee. That's why I scored for Pagonis. That jumping knee, surprise attack. That was a beautiful knee. He faked with the right, came up with that scissor knee with the left. You got him looking at the right, and that's all I did. Make him look at the right, and you skip into that left. Look at this again. This is a, a great move for a light heavyweight. Fake with the right, and pop that bad boy right into the, the Russian's face. That's one tough dude to take that knee. <laughs> Great selection tonight by Pagone. He's used his reach, some front kicks, some good round kicks, attempted a spin kick, he used a great jab. I was very impressed with his performance tonight. Judges scorecard and all three judges score the bout 29 28, a unanimous decision for your winner, Artem Vahita! Ladies and gentlemen, this light heavyweight matchup scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, he is an IFMA world and European champion. His young kickboxing career record, 10 wins with four losses, three of those wins by way of knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, he weighed in at an even 206 pounds, 93.4 kilos, fighting tonight out of Russia. Here is our 10. Vahita! Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, the winner of the International Open Muay Thai Cup. His record, 48 wins with seven losses, 30 of those 48 wins by knockout. Standing six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters. He weighed in at 207 pounds, 93.9 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Igor, the Istrian warrior, Yurkovic. The referee in charge of the glory ring is Tom Johnson. Go back there, step back for me. Step back to your corner for me. All right, Judge, you ready? Judge, ready? Judge, ready? You ready? All right, let's fight! Underway, three three-minute rounds in the Glory Light Heavyweight Division. Igor Yurkovich, the white gloves and black shorts. Artem Vahitov, black shorts, or gray shorts, excuse me, black gloves. Ron, I really like this matchup. It's a matchup of styles. You got the Croatian kickboxing. It's more of a sledgehammer in your face style. And you got Vahitov, who's the Eastern Bloc, the former Soviet states. Very stylistic fighters. They got the Muay Thai influence as well as Russian boxing background. So it's going to be a unique match. You got the stylistic versus the, the aggression. Nice shot lands there from Artem Vahitov. Likes to throw a lot of body shots and liver shots as well. Both these guys have some power in those punches for sure. You can tell that Vahitov is doing a lot of boxing, but one thing that's getting him in trouble, he's trying to block the kick with one arm, and Yurkovich could actually land that, that body kick and cause his own liver kick damage there. This is Yurkovich's second fight in the light heavyweight division. It was a very natural fit for him, Duke, as he said he only has to lose like five pounds to make light heavyweight. Yeah, he had a heartbreaking loss at Corey, New York against uh, Yonatas Diniz, he, and that's when he decided he's got to move down. He's just too small for these big beasts in glory. Right lands from Bahitov. Another straight, and down goes Yurkovic! Talk. Hey, Jake, you want to continue? Walk to me, walk to me. Okay, ready? Wait, step back, step back, step back. Ready? Hey! 
One knockdown here in the first round as we approach one minute to go. Artem Bahitov delivering the blow. Uppercut just misses for Bahitov. Big shots now from the Russian. Flying knee lands. Working the body is Bahitov. I really like how Bahitov has mixed his boxing pedigree, real smooth, crispy combos, and then again, the knee, the kick, he's keeping Yurkovich off balance all the time. He doesn't know what's coming at him. 30 seconds to go in this opening frame. The glory, light, heavyweight division. All Artem Bahitov in this one so far. Low kick from Bajitov. Ten seconds, gentlemen. This is the battle. Dave Brown for the Russian. Arnold Bajitov. Ready? Fight. Round number two in the Glory Super Fight Series. Ron Kruk and Duke Rufus from Denver, Colorado. Igor Yurkovic in the white gloves and Artem Vahitov in the black. All Vahitov so far blitzed Yurkovic in that first round. I think the big thing that's going on here is Yurkovic is a very good fighter, but he's a little stiff. Vahitov, he's having a good time out there. He's slippery, he's smooth, he's just gliding around that ring. Punches and bunches and having fun, getting it done. Seems so much quicker than Yurkovic as well. There's a low kick delivered from Yurkovic. Levin, uh, Bahitov trains with number one ranked middleweight Artem Levin. Yurkovic slips, no knockdown, says our referee Tom Johnson. Yeah, the Cubs boss uh, camp in Russia. They were very impressive, Jim. Obviously, you can see the influence on Levin on Bahitov. Very slippery style, but just like Levin. Look. Look at the total strikes thrown. Bahitov dominating. If you look at the left side of the body of Igor Yurkovic, you can see how many of those shots have landed because his ribs are extremely red right now. Just a few seconds ago, how fast Bahitov hit that triple right hand. I mean, quadruple, six in a row, no problem. That's impressive. Bahitov putting the pressure on now. And down goes Yurkovic. Tom Johnson calls it a slip. It will not be ruled a knockdown. The thing with Yurkovich, though, this guy has some knockout power. Just takes one shot. 30 KOs out of his 48 victories. It's a 63% KO ratio. Yurkovich needs to get going. He's throwing ones, twos. He needs to pick it up, be aggressive. He's way behind right now as we are under a minute to go in the second round. Crisp shots from body top. Right now, that right hand's like the U.S. Postal Service. It delivers every time, man. It ain't missing. And that spinning back kick landed, too. Body top follows up with a flying knee. Putting the pressure on is body top. Blood now coming out of the nose of right, Igor Yurkovic. Right, stop, stop, stop. Ready? Fight! A much improved Vahitov. His fight with Nina Pagonis in New York was closely contested. He's looking just awesome tonight. Push kick got through. Big left just misses from the southpaw Yurkovic. All Artem Vahitov so far. We'll be back with round number three. Third and final round, Artem Vahitov dominating Igor Yurkovich in this light heavyweight bout. I mean, that last round, do, do you give him a 10-8? Because really, it was all Vahitov in that one. Some judges would, I might. I mean, the good thing that's going on for Vahitov, he understands guerrilla warfare like that. He does the hitting and doesn't get hit. He's always hitting and moving. Yurkovich, he likes to stand there and trade. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get in there and go shield the spear and sword. He likes to go right in there in the trenches, but that's where he's getting caught sometimes as well, too. 
only 23 years old, the Russian Artem Vahitov. Really, part of the Russian invasion that's going on right now, Duke in glory. You got Vahitov, you got Artem Levin, Stetsarenko, and of course, Hartanov. You know, the Russians are really well established in the world of MMA, but now they're making their way into kickboxing as well. Oh uh, yeah, they've got such a strong amateur program over there. That's why a, a young fighter like Bobby Top can come in here and make a very experienced fighter like Yurkovic, you know, look a little slower and older. You know, they got so much amateur experience, just like their Olympic boxing program and their Olympic wrestling program. Some shots finally landed there by Igor Yurkovic. <laughs> Good combination gets through. Still looking strong here as we approach one minute in the third and final round. Igor Yurkovic, blood all over the face now. A good body shot from Igor Yurkovic. That's it, Yurkovic. Make a contest of it, kid. Go for it. No guts, no glory. Bring it. Fighters clinch up. If you do not immediately attack with knee strikes, the referee will break you off here in glory. You can see that movement just giving Yurkovic so much trouble. Artem Vahitov showing his speed, showing his power, and really putting on a clinic tonight in Denver. Again, another one of our future stars here at court. We got so many young fighters. I think the youngest fighter on the roster is uh, Sipman Chai from Thailand, only at 19. So just a, a wealth of youth talent and glory right now. Adam Vahitov, he had fought at middleweight, but it seems like he has really found a home at light heavyweight and being able to display his speed has been a real key for Vahitov. the Russian Artem Vahitov when we look at some of the action, Duke. Oh, look at that beautiful right hand. Textbook. Great flying knee to mix things up after the boxing combos. You're always keeping them guessing. Went the uppercut to the body there. Again, just need very well-balanced attack. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Flasher scores the bout 29-27. Judge Mann, 29-27. Judge Wickers, 30-26. A unanimous decision all for your winner, Artem Vaita! Vaitov improves to 11-4 with the unanimous decision victory. Respect my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Fight good, fly keen, fly hard. May the batsman win. Touch gloves. Tobias Gerald is the referee. Fight! Bell and round one scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Glory Land Heavyweight Division. Immediately Vahitov and Kavalari exchange kicks. Vahitov with the kicks inside the leg, outside the leg, into the head, but Kavalari coming raging back with punches. Both of them have produced memorable knockouts here in glory. Of course, Cavallari stopped Murad Buzidi with a frightening right-hand knockout and also took out Zach Mukasa with a head kick to win the Glory 18 Light Heavyweight Contender Tournament. Vahitov, we saw back at Glory 9 in New York, stop Luis Tavares with a body shot. And that was after he landed a really big uh, back fist to Tavares. So it's a cavalcade of kicks to begin the proceedings here. Outside low kick by Cavallari. There's a jab from Vahitov. Fades back from that jab attempt by Cavallari and able to evade the high kick from Cavallari. So good defense displayed thus far by Vahitov. Nice inside shot there by Vahitov. Put Cavallari off balance for a second. Look at the distance that Cavallari maintains when he's being attacked. He stays out of the way of harm. 
blistering punch combination culminating with a short right uppercut on the inside by Vahitov and Kavalari continues to attack the lead leg of the Russian fighter. Kavalari's got to be really careful not to hurt his own shin. Yeah, that kick was checked. Exactly, because Vahitov is going to knee check him. High level kickboxing on display in the first minute and a half. Vahitov switches to southpaw. I think it's by design. I don't think it's by injury. There's a right hook from exactly. Vahitov. Another right hook behind the guard. Now back to orthodox as Kavalari along the ropes. Under a minute remaining in the first round. Great right hand by Vahitov backs Kavalari up. In the boxing department, Vahitov is the boss right now. The main thing Vahitov has to be careful of is to get low kicked by that right leg kick. Left hook to the liver by Vahitov before they clinch. 30 seconds left in the fight. I'd like to see Vahitov go to the body with a kick or a punch. Inside low kick by Kavalari. 10 seconds left in the round eight. Back kick to the body by Vahitov. So a good opening round here in the light heavyweight division. We'll be back with round two from Dubai. Cavallari very happy to have Tom Herring in his corner, the iconic trainer at Chakuriki Gym, one of the gyms along with Majuro Gym Amsterdam, which really founded the Dutch kickboxing style. As the bell goes to begin round two, there's that body kick by Vahitov. A couple of outside low kicks and a high kick from Cavallari. Kavalari's coming out banging here. Break! Break! Top break. Haring trained the likes of Peter Arts, Badr Hari, and Jerome Banner when they were in their primes. So again, really adding to Kavalari's confidence having someone like Tom Haring in his corner. It really is. He really wanted Tom to do it. Tom is retired as mm -hmm. a trainer, but because he sees potential in Kavalari, he accepted the assignment. And a series of kicks by Kavalari. Counter right hand upstairs by Vahitov. Left hook misses by Kavalari. That right kick was blocked by Vahitov. And now right. Vahitov fires off a body right. kick. Yeah. Right. They're really slanging and banging here in round number two. And a big edge in total strikes. Double two to one in favor of Kavalari. Minute gone in the second. Right body kick by Kavalari. Using Vahit lateral movement. Sorry, Steven. No problem. Vahitov is making it difficult for Cavallari to land a clean head shot, though. So Cavallari is going to the body oh. and to the leg. Crisp left hook. And then a left hook to the body by Vahitov. Vahitov really beginning to score with that left hook. And there's a nice combination by Vahitov to the head. You can see the difference in intensity behind the strikes. Vahitov. Not quite as hard, a little bit more accurate. Whereas Cavallari, he'll take a couple shots that'll miss, but he'll throw them with intensity like that. And Cavallari really beginning to work on the lead leg of Vahitov with those outside low kicks. A minute 10 remaining in the second. And again, that one was checked by Vahitov. And such, go ahead and look such, at the total kicks. Such a hard pace right now by both guys. But I would have to say, because Cavallari is loading up so much, he may get tired in that third round. A big advantage in the total stats in favor of the Brazilian bomber, Salo Cavallari. Combination upstairs by Vahitov. There's a Stop. Stop. ramrod right hand by Vahitov. Stop. Now again from the southpaw, almost attempting a Superman punch was Artem Vahitov. Body kick with the left. 30 seconds left in the second. Slip by Vahitov, as he's slipping the punch. <laughs> Vahitov might want to go to the liver a couple times, just to test it out right now. Final 10 seconds of the second round. Overhand right by Vahitov, misses with the left hook. You're watching.
watching the Glory Superfight Series headline attraction with the light heavyweight title shot up for grabs. Glory 18 light heavyweight contender tournament winner Solo Cavallari filling in for an injured Andre Stoika against the game a Russian. Artem Vahitov, who's undefeated 3-0 in the glory ring, but in tough against Cavallari. Whoa, Vahitov took a huge chance there by dropping his hands. As Cavallari was coming gunning for his head. Vahitov started martial arts training at the age of five. Cavallari started when he was nine. His late mother brought him to the gym. Grew up in the Brazilian favelas, the ghetto, and has fought his way out ever since, and on the verge of earning a title shot here tonight. Moro, how much confidence would it take? You've already got the title shot, then you're gonna face Vahitov just for fun. It's amazing. And it shows his Bushido, <laughs> the way of the warrior. And good combination by Cavallari and, and the clutch. His guts, man, I mean. And maybe questions his sanity because he got a paycheck guaranteed. Well, he gets an extra one here. Too. Right. More than a two to one edge in strikes for Cavallari. There's a one two from distance. Here's the problem Bahetov's got right now. He can't hurt the man from Curitiba, Brazil. He can land on him, but he can't hurt him. Continues to check the kicks, but then eats a jab. Does Vaitov, who attacks the body with the left. I tell you, uh, Cavallari's right shin is going to be aching tomorrow. From all those knee checks. Right hand to the body by Vaitov. A minute left to the fight. Cavallari's winded right now. And who could blame him after, <laughs> after the pace that he set? I hope what? 45 seconds remaining. Right hand over the top by Cavallari in the clinch. They deliver exchange knees before referee separates them. Mahitov needs a really good Hail Mary backfist right about now. Because he's probably going to let this slip away. Under 30 seconds left in the bout. Cavallari almost telegraphed that left kick. Block the left kick from Vahitov. It's a thing where when you got nothing left, but you still throw. That's hard. Another knee check by Vahitov. Final seconds of the fight. It's been a good one between Salo Cavallari and Artem Vahitov. Nice work by Vahitov with the punching department and a few tricky low kicks early on. That right hand lead snapped Cavallari's head back. Cavallari came raging back though. Big punches of his own and a lot of low kicks. And Cavallari ate a few along the way, displaying his iron jaw. They slowed down, but they didn't stop. Vaita up with the edge and total punches landed, but a big discrepancy in the kicking department. And overall, his eight fight win streak and perfect glory record in jeopardy as we go to the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. The judges score this bout 29 28 Kamalari, 29 28 Vahita. And 30-27 for your winner by split decision. Solo Cavallari! Solo Cavallari via split decision hands. Artem Vaitov is first to loss in the glory ring. He improves to five and one in glory, and he will indeed face the glory light heavyweight champion. And a quick look at the numbers. Vahitov may be four years younger, but he's also two inches shorter and has a reach disadvantage of five inches. So I would think that Lunga would definitely want to fight at range, and the Russian bear will want to rumble on the inside. Okay. 
Plenty of buzz via social media. You can get in on the conversation at hashtag Glory25 for this Super Fight Series matchup. Pay attention. An important contest in the light heavyweight division. Ilunga with 44 knockouts out of his 57 victories. Five of Vahitov's 13 wins have ended inside the distance. Fight. This one promises to be a ballet of brutality as we are underway. And an immediate aggressive start by both guys as they tag each other early. Yeah, but it looks like Vahitov has got a little bit more steam on his punches. No feeling out process and none to be expected here in the fastest fight sport in the world. Glory kickboxing, three three-minute rounds, stand up and fight. That's exactly what Vahitov and Alunga have come here to do tonight. Vahitov throwing a lot of force between that straight right. Push kick by Ilunga. Vahitov though. Sitting down on his punches, there's a knee from Ilunga. Ilunga, the, the taller by two inches, wants to exploit every advantage possible. And both of them again looking to get back on the winning track inside the glory ring, knowing what's at stake, and they are just chucking leather punches in bunches. What a battle already. It's early in the first, and they're blasting each other. It's been 90 seconds of nastiness. They're saying bluntly to each other, welcome to my world. Outside, low kick by Ilunga. Attacking the lead leg of Vahitov. Vahitov settling down, measuring. There, fires off a right hand that connects. Vahitov suddenly starting to single shot, whereas before he was throwing combinations. Really picking your shots now. Alunga up on his bicycle somewhat. My top turned professional in 2009, signing with Glory in 2003 after he became a European super light heavyweight champion. I was going to say that maybe later tonight they could uh, participate in a dueling piano session at a local bar. As Alunga plays keyboard for his church and Vahitov, classically trained pianist, but they're not tickling the ivories here tonight. No, they're not. Vahitov starting to get low kicked on regularity from Ilunga. Body kick by Vahitov backs up Ilunga. Vahitov quicker to the punch. Oh, left hook connects. A right uppercut, left hook. Vahitov beginning to unload on Ilunga. Alunga's in big trouble right here. And Alunga staying in the fight, staying on his feet. Needs to circle away, desperately trying to do so. But Vaitov all over him. Wow. An amazing opening round of action here between Vaitov and Alunga. Wow. Fight. Well, what do they have in store for the encore here in round number two? It's Alunga in the white gloves, Vahitov in the black gloves. Both of them again looking to get back in the win column after suffering losses to current glory light heavyweight champion Salo Cavallari. And both of them fighting like they know what's at stake. The number one ranked Alunga, the number seven ranked Vahitov. Yeah, Alunga going back to the kickboxing style, throwing knees and kicks because he's losing the boxing match so far. Alunga has that effective right hand, unable to connect with it much thus far in this fight. Vaitov, again, settling down, picking his spots, misses with that overhand right as they clinch. And again, if you clinch, you have to immediately unleash an effective knee strike, spinning back kick to the midsection by Vaitov. That landed solid. Vaitov is all over him with strikes landed in that first round, 34 to 10. Sustained action as we pass the one minute mark here in round two. Highly conditioned light heavyweights. That back kick landed pretty solid. Vahitov uh, said that high speed or speed and high volume punching will be the keys to his victory. We've seen a little bit of that so far as uh, round two beginning to 
progress here. Alunga has recovered from that opening round. Well, actually. Yes, he has. It looks like Vahe Tom is uh -huh. maybe slowing down just a little just bit. A yeah. It was a frenetic first round. Yeah, he really went for the finish there. And he never, the problem was, is he never really staggered in Lunga. Otherwise, I would have called it a 10-8 round. So close. Man, that uppercut is a thing of beauty for Vahitov. According to the numbers, Alunga has landed more strikes total, but I think Vahitov, obviously, from what we saw in the first round, doing more damage. Yeah. And in glory, prioritized criteria. It's all about the amount of knockdowns first, then damage. So when it comes to that, I think Vahitov holds the advantage. Yeah, if you throw a jab and... That's one punch, and the other guy throws a left hook and staggers you. That's still two punches. It shows up on those punch stats. You don't know that it's a hard shot. Vaitov holds the classification of Master of Sports in Muay Thai. Of course, glory rules different than Muay Thai. No elbows, no sustained clinching. 30 seconds left in the second round. There, he attacks the leg. Good jab, and Malunga again, they just trade in the pocket. Vaitov hasn't thrown that many low kicks, but he's going to set up better punch combinations if he gets Alunga thinking about the legs. Yeah, he didn't talk about the... He said it would be about his volume punching, which right. would be the advantage and the difference, and he stuck to that game plan thus far here in the latter stages of the second round. If I got doing a couple of switch moves here on his stances. So after an amazing opening round, a more regular pace second stanza, but what do they have in store for the third and final round? Knowing again the ramifications of a win here, earning those all important points. Alunga wanting to hold on to his number one ranking, while Vahitov would love to launch himself upwards. And Alunga now the aggressor here early in round three after surviving that scare in the first frame. And that sneaky left knee of Alunga, if he can land that across the floating, floating rib, it's going to be a problem for Vahitov. Just amazing stuff, though. Back and forth, non-stop action. This is what glory kickboxing is all about. You rarely hear any boos when the glory action is in the ring. <laughs> Definitely. People are really concentrating on this. Listen how quiet the crowd is right now. Everybody's watching this. Oh, and there's a right hand from Vahita. Right, and the crowd erupts. Educated crowd here in Monza, Italy. Just outside of Milan. Glory, of course, a global organization. Looking forward to being in Amsterdam on December the 4th. And what a stack card that is. Mm -hmm. Rico Verhoeven in a rematch with Benjamin Anikbui. Nikki Holskin to defend his welterweight title. But here it's all Vahitov and Alunga going toe to toe. They really are. And they're starting to slow down, but not much. No, they th keep throwing. Yeah. Now you're right, not at the pace, but they keep throwing. Vahitov again going to combinations. Man, they ah, taking turns teeing off on each other. Hard round to score because of it. it. Yeah, the last round was really hard to score too. I mean, Ilunga being more successful going low and going with knees to the body, whereas Vahitov all about punches. Yeah, and there's that right hand that Ilunga walked into. Coming up on the final minute of what has been a fantastic fight, the penultimate fight on this special edition of the Glory Super Fight Series. Another right hand lands for Vahitov, inside low kick. And that Vahitov right hand was a good counter off of a low kick. Right hand behind the guard by Ilunga. Oh, ripping to the body with that right hand was Vahitov, counter right from Ilunga. See, it's not so easy to knock another guy out when you're this highly skilled as both these top 10 fighters are. Spinning back kick to the liver Good by shot. Artem Vahitov with 30 seconds left. I'm not going to be surprised if this is a split decision. It's been vicious.
delicious. It's been delicious. A tasty treat served up in the light heavyweight division, courtesy of Artem Vahitov and Daniel Elunga. And they are going to the judges' scorecards. What a spirited scrap. It's up to the three judges seated at ringside to determine who will win this hotly contested affair. And we look at the strike count. Vahitov landing over 50% of his totals. And anytime you get near 50% landed, you've had a fantastic night. 33% for Alunga, who has land, who landed more. And again, a, wow, this is a tough one to score. But a very important decision about to be made. There's that right uppercut and left hook by Vahitov. He definitely had the advantages with the punches. Alunga had some success down low, but spinning back kick from Vahitov. I think he did the more damage, more on his shots. But again, it's not up to yours truly or Steven Quadros to determine the winner. It's up to the three judges at ringside, and what a tough task here. And the man with the verdict is Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we again go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. A unanimous decision for your winner, Artem Vahitov. So Artem Vahitov has just knocked off the number one contender, Daniel Ilunga. He improves to four and one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Glory Light Heavyweight Belt is on the line in your headline super fight of the evening. A rematch between two of the world's top five in the division with over 80 career bouts between them. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association at the bell. Your referee is Gabriel LaRufa. From one of the world's great cities, Paris, France, to Glory fans watching all over the world, it's time for Glory! In introducing first the challenger, a three-time Russian, two-time European and world champion. His record, 15 wins with five losses, six bouts scored even, four and one in his glory career. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, and he weighed in at an even 207 pounds, 93.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Russia, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Artem Bahita. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a Brazilian Grand Prix champion making his first title defense. His record, 59 wins with three losses, 49 of those wins by knockout. He stands six feet, two and a half inches, 1.89 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 208 and one half pounds, 94.6 kilos. He fights out of the fight capital of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending glory light heavyweight champion of the world, Salo Cassius Clay. Once again, the man in charge of the glory ring is Gabriel LaRufa. All right, guys, check this out. World Championship. Challenger, champion, good fight. Good fight in France in glory. Judge. 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 Hi. Run Crock and Joseph out to leading ringside here for the Glory Super Fight Series main event. Light heavyweights, Artem Vahitov in the green shorts and Salo Cavallari in the black. Rematches are amazing. It shows where the camps have thought they needed to improve from the last fight. The champion earned a razor thin split decision victory at Glory 20 back in April. Artem
Sam mentioned he was going to use his boxing a little bit more aggressively this time. But it looks like Cavallari's doing, doing that right back. Cavallari, the power he has in those punches is incredible. 49 knockouts. Low kick delivered from Cavallari. Just misses with the overhand right. And Vahitov lands a low kick, and the fighter's exchanging now. Vahitov's using more low kicks this time around. Maybe that was his answer to Cavallari's low kick, was to throw more himself. Vahitov mentioned that the low kicks from Cavallari really were what hurt him in that first fight. Look at those shots from Cavallari, the speed in those hands. Both of these guys have a real good high guard defense. And right now they're doing something called combo back exchanging. One guy throws a combination, the other one throws one right back. Great stuff there. First title defense for Salo Cavallari. Vahitov got a stinging jab through, but Cavallari counters. These guys are throwing very heavy combinations for the first round in a five-round fight. Low kick from Cavallari. Vahitov throws a combination. A stiff jab from Cavallari. Cavallari, as Joseph mentioned, that high guard. Oh! Cavallari with some big shots. And Vahitov counters. Nice big body shot. There comes the boxing of Vahitov. He's hurting him with body punches right now. Attacking the head, going right to the body. That body shot may have hurt the champ, Cavallari. You're going to notice Vahitov, if the body's hurt, he's going to start throwing that left hook to the head now as Cavallari is uh, protecting his liver. Stop, Fight. Round number two, scheduled four five. Super Fight Series main event between the champion Salo Cavallari in the black shorts and the challenger Artem Vahitov in the green. One of the biggest differences I've seen from Vahitov was using his kicks on the outside a little bit more, which is working really well for him. The pushing. Well, both had a part of that first round where they were dominating. Who did you score that first round for, Joseph? I have to give it to Vahitov. He was a little bit more fluid with his combinations. I feel he landed a little bit more. It was a very tough round to call. Could have gone either way. Extremely difficult as we check out the total strikes in that first round. And Vahitov, extremely accurate at 50%. High kick blocked from the champion. Both of these guys sitting head to head, comboing back and forth. Stop. I like how Vahitov is mixing levels with his punches. Cavalier is going back to the low kick, which I think is a smart move. Stop. Right now. Stop. Stop. Wicked intentions from both fighters. Throwing some crazy low kicks. Vahitov goes to the body. He's attacking that liver. He wants that liver. He wants to take it home back to Russia. <laughs> That's what hurt Cavallari in the first round. He's setting it up well. He's going to use his straight punches, get his guard up, Stop. attack the liver. Stop. No, no, no. No. Hey, no, no, no. Three. Gabriel Larupa, he's got his work cut out for him, getting in between those two to break the fighters up as they clinch. Quick shots from Vahitov. Cavallari does not want to be standing in that corner. Just missed that with that right hand, Vahitov. He's probably using it to set up his left hook to the liver. Moving forward is Cavallari. Fight! 
Yes, he misses with a kick and Vahitov counters. Body shot from Vahitov. Cavallari needs to fight on the outside a little bit more. He's used, he's used to fighting on the outside and moving out of the range of danger, but he's staying in the pocket today. Under 30 to go in round number two. Valori gets some strikes through the defense of Vahitov. Vahitov counters with a body shot. Stop! Fight! Stop! Go corner. Fight! Super Fight Series main event. Light heavyweight title on the line. Round number three between Salo Cavallari and Artem Vahitov. Salo's hurt to the body. Vahitov needs to go to that left hook again. But good job on Cavallari to mix up his kick and punch combinations. He needs to keep up with that, keep active. Oh. Straight shot from Cavallari. <laughs> Larry can't stay there, shield it up like that. Vahitov's just gonna pick him apart, find his body punches, and steal, steal this fight. No. Extremely fast hands from Vahitov, and he is working the body of the champion. More punches thrown from Cavallari. But Vahitov, much more accurate. And possibly doing more damage. You'll notice when Vahitov, as the rounds go on, he relaxes more, and that's when he starts using his boxing and pulling with his punches a little bit more. Front kick from Vahitov just missed its target. Yes, Vahitov now following up those kicks with some punches. Cavallari just took a big breath of air. He's feeling it. Those body punches are starting to add up and it's really slowing him down. Vahitov is in there now. He, yeah. He's punching from the outside, mixing up levels. He's relaxed in there right now, and this is the Vahitov that's gonna win a world title if he keeps Lynn. it up. So relaxed, he's throwing spinning back fists. Not bad for a light heavyweight. One minute to go here in round number three, scheduled for five. He did, Kevl, uh, Vahitov did say he had the better conditioning, and it's really showing that he does. Three-time Russian national champion. When he's not fighting, Artem Vahitov is a classically trained pianist. No elbow. As we approach 30 seconds to go in round three. And it seems that the champ is slowing down a little bit. Vahitov's using a really good low kick. He's really cutting down on it. You can see the welts on Cavallari's lead leg. He's taking that angle down, and those are the low kicks that do damage. Just as I said that, the champ threw some punches, but Vahitov right back. Great action here in the light heavyweight division. Stop! Go corner. Fight! We enter into the championship rounds of the Super Fight Series light heavyweight main event. Rod Kruk and Joseph Altolini here in Paris, France. Glad you could be a part of the Super Fight Series. Cavallari is showing that he needs to do something. His corner told him he's got to push forward. He needs to land, he needs to land big. At this point, you gave the first round to Vahitov. Have you followed that up, giving him the last two? I have to give three rounds to zero for Vahitov. He's very relaxed, mixing it up, doing more damage. He's taking up this fight. All it takes, though, is one big punch from the champion. 49 career knockouts. He can put an end to a fight quickly. You can tell the leg of Cavallari's hurting. He's not committing to his punches anymore, and you see him pulling that leg back. He has no lead leg anymore. 
Fahitov needs to return to that low kick. He takes him off those punches. Cavallari has won four straight. Only loss in glory was to Tyrone Spong, and that was two years ago. Big difference on total kicks. You can see Vahitov landing those low kicks at 76%. There's no blocking that leg anymore. It's too damaged. He should be going back to it right now. It's the champ throwing some low kicks. Vahitov went up high, but blocked by Cavallari. <laughs> Straight from the champ and spinning back kick from Vahitov. Cavalar just doesn't seem to have that same zip he had earlier in his punches. He's fatiguing. I'm just surprised Vahitov's not going back to the leg. And he's not recognizing that it's hurt right now. He could be getting tired too. There's one low kick there. He hurt him with that left hook. Vicious body shot from Vahitov. Champion trying to hang on here. As the Russian Artem Vahitov looks to steal the belt. Well, Cavallari was in a lot of trouble towards the end of round number four. Kicks knocked the wheels off the car, and that car is not going anywhere anymore. He's just standing in the pocket. Mahitov needs to go back to that leg and recognize that it's injured right now. And what does that do, Joseph, when the lead leg of a fighter is bruised that badly? You can't move, you can't step to throw punches. You need that leg, and you need the weight on it to throw some big punches. With no weight, the tree's coming down. <laughs> Timber. There he's going. He's going to work yeah. on the low kick. <laughs> Salo Cavallari, the glory light heavyweight champion in his first title defense, could be in some trouble. There's a total strike thrown in round four. Spinning back kick to the body from Vahitov. You can't count Cavallari out. Never. Never. 83% knockout ratio. Never count this guy out. Mahitov needs to put combinations together. Get that left hook to the body, finish with the low kick. Mahitov said they really went and watched the videotape of that first fight. Felt that he could be much better. Oh, wicked spinning kick just misses from Mahitov. And really seems to have put together an incredible game plan tonight. Mahitov can do what he wants right now. There's no power behind the punches of Cavallari. His leg's too damaged. He can't put his weight on it. <laughs> Left hook rocks Cavallari. Mahitov continues to press the action. Vahitov went southpaw. His leg might be hurt, too. One minute to go in this fifth and final no round. Good. The glory light heavyweight title is in the balance. Cavallari can't even bend that lead leg. There's not much he can do now. Just have to sit and counter and throw one big punch. Fight! Does the champion, Solo Cavallari, have the Hail Mary punch in him as we are under 30 seconds to go? And Vahitov continues to fire away. Vahitov 
very light on his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard, and here are the totals. 49, 46, 50, 45, and 50, 45, a unanimous decision, all for your winner. And new glory light heavyweight champion of the world, Artem Vahita. Here to present the belt. Our Chief Executive Officer, John Franklin, and our Head of Talent Operations, Mr. Core Hammers. I'm here with your new light heavyweight champion, Artem Vahitov. How does it feel to be the new champion? Uh, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Я долго шел к этому. Мы вместе с командой тренировались, проделали огромную работу. И вот результат. Prepared so long. The road was very long, but prepared was good, and we take the belt. He showed great boxing and low kicks. Was that the plan tonight? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The plan is complete, guys. The plan is complete. We finish our work. Оно он еще спросит. А, огромное хочу сказать спасибо Парижу, спасибо, очень красивый город. А, очень хорошая публика встречает, поддерживает. Такой публики давно я не видел. Merci to Paris. There you go, your new lightweight champion, light heavyweight champion, Artem Vahitov. Well, Artem Vahitov said he learned some lessons from the close decision loss he lost to Salo Cavallari, and he made those adjustments. He came in as the number four ranked light heavyweight, and he leaves as your new glory light heavyweight champion. The belt is going home to Russia with Artem Vahitov.